another nice question here. Calculate the pH of a solution of a mixture of an acid and base together when you have 20 milliliters of 0.15 mole per liter HCl. And you've got to mix it with, say, 20 milliliters of 0.10 mole per liter NaOH. Now, you might look at that, you might, you might exercise your common sense and say, well, you know what? If I mix these two solutions together that have the same volumes, but this acid is more concentrated than this base, then the solution is going to be, in the end, more of an acid. It's going to have an acid pH. Nice job. But what is that pH going to be? Now, you might say, well, it's kind of in between 0.15 and 0.10, so I could just kind of estimate it and stuff. No, you better not do that. Better do this calculation and be able to get it right. So what you're going to do is this. You're going to recognize that there is an equation here for a chemical reaction. We always like to write that equation. Strong acid, strong base. So there's hydronium plus hydroxide. Always take the information that you're given for each compound and put it underneath the chemical to which it pertains. Now notice that it's not like a typical kind of stoichiometry question where you're finding an unknown here because you have concentrations and volumes of both. What that means is this. You're going to find the moles of each of those chemicals because these do react in a one mole to one mole ratio. Equation speaks molish, right? And then when they react in that one to one ratio to form water, well, okay, if they were the same number of moles of each of those chemicals, you'd only have water in the end. Well, maybe salt water, NaCl and water, and so you'd, you'd have a solution that would have a pH of 7. But, if you don't have equal number of moles of these two chemicals reacting, and one of them is in excess, then you're going to have to calculate the pH of that solution by doing this. We take the moles per liter of the hydronium, and the liters of that hydronium, there it is in liters, three significant digits still. When you multiply those two together to cancel out the liters and you got moles, you get 0 0.0030 moles of hydronium that's present in that solution. How much hydroxide do you have? 0.1 times the 0 0.02, and that calculates the moles of hydroxide. Now look, they react in a one-to-one -one ratio. For every 0 0.003 here, you would need 0 0.003 here, but you don't have that. You have 0 0.002. That means then that you've got more hydronium than hydroxide. And it means also then that 0 0.002 here reacts with 0 0.002 here. And what does it leave you with in the end? You will have 0 0.001000 moles of hydronium that are going to end up to be in excess. <laughs> so what do you do to get the concentration now of that solution, of that hydronium that's in excess? A lot of students stop right here and they go, oh, 0 0.001, and so I take the pH of that and I get 3. Woohoo! Look, pH is the negative log of the concentration of the hydronium. And you don't have concentration yet, you just got moles. You have to divide by the liters. What liters? 20! No. 20! No. 40! Yeah, because when you mix the two solutions together, the new concentration is going to be arrived at by dividing by the new volume which is 0 0.0400 liters. When you do that math right there, you get 0 0.025 moles per liter of hydronium, or HCl, that is in excess. To find the pH of that, take the negative of the log of the concentration of the hydronium, and you get 1.60, and that's the answer. And just to be making you aware and alert, if you actually had this reverse where you had more hydroxide than hydronium, and you ended up doing this for hydroxide, and this was the concentration of the hydroxide in solution, remember you have to 14 plus the log of something like that, and the pH in that case, if this was the hydroxide, it would have been something like 12.40, right? So here's the deal. Just make sure that you write down all the information underneath the compounds to which they pertain, and then if you've got a mixture of two moles that you can calculate here, find out who's in excess, and that one divided by the new volume will help you to find that unknown concentration in pH.